Today we're breaking down NVIDIA AI's updated pricing plans and explaining exactly what everything means, so you can pick the plan that's right for you. At the very top, you'll see the option to pay monthly or yearly. Choosing yearly always saves money compared to paying month by month, and yes, if you have a coupon code, you can enter it here to unlock discounts or bonus credits. Now, let's get into the details of how the plans actually work. First up, video minutes. In previous versions these were called AI minutes, but to keep things simple, they're now just video mins. Every time you generate a video, the minutes you use depend on how long your video is. The minimum charge is one minute, so even if your video is only 30 seconds long it still counts as one video minute. If you run out, you can purchase add-ons to top up your balance. Next, let's clear up generative credits. This is different from video minutes. Video minutes track the length of the videos you generate, while generative credits are used whenever you ask NVIDIA AI to create something new, like AI-generated visuals, unique stock-style footage, or custom avatars. And here's something important. If you decide to use your personal avatar in a video, it will also consume generative credits. Now let's talk about iStock Media. All NVIDIA plans include access to premium libraries like iStock, Storyblocks, and Shutterstock. But iStock is capped. The number listed in your plan tells you exactly how many iStock assets you can download each month. The other stock libraries are unlimited. Here's a feature that got a major upgrade, Express Clones. In older versions you could only clone your voice. Now with Express Clones, you can either clone your voice or create your own talking avatar. This makes it easy to personalize videos for your brand or content. Just keep in mind, using your avatar in a project will spend generative credits. Storage is the amount of cloud space included in your plan. This is where all of your projects, uploaded media files, custom brand assets, and generated content are saved. For example, if you upload your own video clips, images, or audio tracks, they take up storage. The more storage you have, the more room you get to keep multiple projects, larger videos, and heavy media files without needing to constantly delete old content. And of course, exports. All paid plans come with unlimited exports in full HD quality. Only the free plan is limited to 4 exports per week. Let's break down the plans. Plus plan. A good starting point for individual creators. You get 10 generative credits, 50 video minutes, 95 iStock downloads, 2 Express clones, 100 GB storage, and unlimited exports. Great if you only make videos occasionally. Max plan designed for more active creators. It comes with 40 generative credits, 200 video minutes, 320 iStock downloads, 5 Express clones, and 400 GB of storage. Generative plan, built for power users. It doubles the creative credits of Max with 100 generative credits and still includes 200 video minutes, 320 iStock downloads, 8 Express clones, and 400 GB storage. Perfect if you need lots of AI-generated assets every month. Team plan, the newest and most powerful tier. You get a massive 1,000 generative credits, 3,200 iStock downloads, 40 Express clones, and an enormous 4 terabytes of storage. This is ideal for agencies, businesses, or teams producing high-volume content. Finally, remember that all quotas reset monthly, and if you want the best value, the annual plan saves up to 20% compared to paying month to month. So that's the complete breakdown of NVIDIA AI's updated pricing. Hopefully this clears up the difference between video minutes and generative credits, shows how Express clones and avatars work, and helps you pick the plan that fits your needs best. If this helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment with any questions.